I do a lot of, of cases that I work quite closely with the police. The Norwood Rapist case, how that came about is I was having dinner with my husband who was watching television and at that stage there was a program called Police File, identity kits were being put on and this case came up that they were looking for a rapist, identity kit of a young man was on there and while I was eating I looked at this and it just it just came to me. I, I could actually see who the person was and I said to my husband this that's not the right person, they're going after the wrong person. The, the, the Norwood Rapist um started off in, in, in Norwood, um, attracting his victims, he used to obviously watch people, used to, you know, surveillance people, and he used to obviously track them down and, and wait till late at night when things were quiet, um, and he used to obviously then go into their property if he, he tried to break in or burgle them, and once he got in, he would then obviously uh, attack his victim. I did a session, I wrote it all down, typed it all out and uh, the next day I, there was a number, it was in the newspaper, the same ID tickets with a, a number of one of the detectives. I phoned him and I said, listen, you've got the wrong person. And of course, you know, who are you? And I said, well, I'm Diva the Psychic, but you've got the wrong person and if you'd like my notes, you're very welcome. So he said yes, they sent someone to collect my notes. And the next minute the captain of the police had, uh, at that stage at Norwood contacted me and now this rapist, it, it had gone on from one person to the next. In, in a very crude, artistic way I'd drawn a sketch of this person and told them who it was, I gave them a name, I told them where they would find him and it led to the captain and his assistant coming to my house with one of the victims. I actually sat with her and um, went through the whole scenario while I was holding her, her actual um, PJs. It, it was just horrific. She, she was freaked out. I mean, she had never been to psychic before. And they thought that maybe by bringing her and we um, going through reliving this whole experience, it would help. And uh, it, it was, it was awful for her. It was awful for me because I felt what she felt. psychic. I'm a type of person who was a bit skeptical about these things but as you could see in the long run I mean it, it paid off, paid dividends. And um, needless to say all the notes that I gave the name and everything yes this person was arrested yes that was his name um, everything that I gave in my notes tied in with this particular person. The suspect's name at the time was then Constable Geldenes. We um, were quite shocked at the station, especially a lot of members that knew him, who found out who he was, um, especially the, the people that stayed in the single quarter barracks, who were friends with him, you know, during office hours, after office hours, they spent time together. We found out at a later stage during our interrogations with him that we were actually looking for him in the evenings and he was actually watching movies with some of the members that were working in our detective unit's uh, girlfriends. And, and colleagues as such. So the members were, were totally shocked that it was actually a member that lived with them. It's good to know that sometimes, you know, it, it, you can solve a case, you can put closure to a case, let's put it that way.